Hey, Dragon Slayers. It's about four hours since my last meal. Blood sugar is hovering around 98. Today's video is all about how insulin resistance is often the root cause of tinnitus. This one really surprised me. So I linked an article in the description below, and it talks about how there is a direct link between insulin resistance, diabetes, and tinnitus. Studies have shown that most people with tinnitus have one of these conditions and treating them with diet and exercise can result in a significant reduction in tinnitus symptoms. There is a similar relationship between sugar metabolism disorders and Meniere's disease. So Meniere's disease is a disorder of the inner ear that can lead to dizzy spells, vertigo, and hearing loss. Exploration of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance refers to the condition where there is an elevated level of insulin in the bloodstream. It is known as hyperinsulinemia. This occurs when insulin becomes ineffective at transferring glucose from the bloodstream into the body cells. The pancreas then produces additional insulin. Over time, the pancreas cannot keep up with the decreased efficiency of insulin, and the result is clinical diabetes. This is called onset or type 2 diabetes. People who develop insulin resistance in type 2 diabetes typically have consumed excessive amounts of carbohydrates for many years, which causes stress on the normal insulin glucose transfer action until resistance develops. Insulin resistance in type 2 diabetes can be controlled through diet and exercise. In fact, insulin resistance can be controlled to the point where diabetes never develops. But how do these conditions cause tinnitus? The inner ear, like the brain, does not have fat reserves or any source of stored energy. It relies entirely on the delivery of oxygen and glucose from the bloodstream. If glucose delivery is interrupted, the cochlea and vestibular systems become dysfunctional. Tinnitus, as well as Meniere's disease, can result from this condition. We, so they say that they published an earlier and longer version of this subject called Sugar Metabolism, Ketones, and Tinnitus, a study on insulin resistance and tinnitus. There was a clinical study that was conducted in Brazil on people who had tinnitus and insulin resistance. The study was published in the International Tinnitus Journal. The author stated that previous studies had shown between 84 and 92% of people with tinnitus had insulin resistance. The participants in the study were instructed to begin a diet suitable for diabetics. They began a two-year diet designed to return insulin to normal levels. They were asked to eat every three hours so as to not become hypoglycemic, low blood sugar, avoid simple sugars and carbohydrates, lower intake of fatty foods, restrict themselves to no more than two cups of coffee or caffeinated drinks per day, limit the intake of alcohol beverages, and drink four to six glasses of water per day. Now, I don't agree with all of those guidelines, but obviously we know that lowering the sugars and the carbohydrates is going to be great. You don't need to lower your intake of fatty foods. Uh, it says, of the original 80 participants who joined the study, 59 adhered to the diet and 21 did not. The likelihood of having decreased tinnitus symptoms was five times greater for those who kept to the diet and than those who did not. So 76% of the people had five times great, uh, lesser symptoms. And it says that specifically of those who followed the diet for at least two years, 24% had no improvement, 22% had some improvement, 39% had clinical significant improvement, and 15% had complete resolution. In all, 74% had improvement, and of those, 54% significant improvement or total resolution of their tinnitus. So then they talk about Meniere's disease and how Meniere's disease also seems to be at the outgrowth of insulin resistance, and they link it to type 2 diabetes. They talk about the dietary um, considerations and how the journal found that 72% of Meniere's disease patients in the study had some degree of insulin resistance or diabetes. And they talk, the lastly, they say that the best method for determining the conditions is the, a specific test that they run.
But yeah, check out the whole study in the description below. One of the many things that you wouldn't think would be related to insulin resistance, but is. So that's what I've got for you today, guys. And remember that together you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon as well as tinnitus and Meniere's disease.